All right, what's up guys? Well, this video is all about how to make money in Pokemon Sword and Shield. And well, a quick rundown really. The reason I discovered this was thanks to a, a person named called Star Dasher, who introduced me to a concept that uh, I had more options to follow up upon. Now, it's been a rumor that, um, or it's been proven to a point here that battle points are the best way of actually EV training your Pokemon, as there are really no real easy way to get money in this, in this game whatsoever. Um, this video is to prove that different, uh, or that basically that I found a way to get a lot of money in a short amount of time, and I'm gonna go over what you need and the reason why you need them. First and foremost, uh, our main star here is Meowth, and it's the Meowth you can download for Misery Gift, as this Pokemon has uh, the, um, with Payday you can get Gold Rush with a Gigantamax in form. It's... Um, Values are kind of different, as uh, basically you get your level times amount of times you use that attack times the amulet coin. And this time we're going to have Interleon. Uh, since we're in the lead 4 in the league, um, it is basically we're going to face something like Leon, it's going to be something more powerful, but also the, where we get all the money. Basically, there is a cap on this of so 100,000 Poké Dollars roughly, and, uh, or 99999. And it's able to do so because of those uh, values that are implemented with this. So what I've done is making this Meowth with level 100. And more importantly, I made it so um, it has a maximum Dynamax form. Because Meowth, after all things considered, are really, really fra well frail. Which is why we also have Eviolite to make sure we have enough bulk to at least bulk through some of the attacks. Uh, one thing that really comes to mind that has been mentioned is that no matter how things go about here... Um, Best case scenario, Payday or Gold Rush makes the opposing Pokemon always confused and hit themselves confusion. And uh, there will be nothing to it, but we need all the defensive kind of aspects as possible to work. And basically, here we are. Um, now, I do believe if we face Leon this time and he has an Aegis Slash, we are going to be forced to switch out. And that's never pretty, but we avoided that. But that's basically all you need to know. If you face off Leon, uh, you can't use a strat from turn 1, but you want to use it as early as possible. And of course, it's always turn off any attacking um, animation, because you don't want to see that. I don't believe anyone want to see that afterwards. Uh, so leaves off with Vanillux, which could be good. We could absolutely be faster than Vanillux. Um, <clears throat> so basically, you get the maxing directly and uh, try to get those 3 attacks off. And like I said, also afterwards, Switch into something that has a lucky incense or an amulet coin to double the amount of money. Um, <coughs> <coughs> and here's the reason why I haven't recorded in a while. I'm really sick. Uh, but I really couldn't um, <laughs> avoid this. I really need to showcase this as I do believe this is the most efficient way of gaining money in the game. Mainly the battle points aspect and actually getting through that was... Um, well, say you had to play at least 50 battles. Um, 50 or 40 battles. Um, and of course, Gold Rush go through Protect, which is great. Um, so get one Scatter, and uh, go for another one. We are faster, so get another one off, and almost Kezo. And uh, hits into Confusion. Great. That means that we will most likely get our third off. Um, there are always like a worried aspect that you can be knocked out. Meowth, after all, isn't necessarily very bulky, and we are in a tough spot all the time. Um, which is why you need to maximize that Dynamax Pokemon, or and get yourself a level 100. Basically, no no room for mistakes. Um, so yeah, turn it three times, we maximize the amount of money. Um, Frostmoth now went for Quiver Dance, that is absolutely not scary. Um, we're not gonna go out of our form, um, I do want to see if I can try to knock this out anyway. Um, with a payday. Let's see. Yeah, we're still faster. <laughs> nice. Alright, so that one is out of the way. Uh, and now I'm going to switch into my level 100 Interleon and just wrap things up. Um, and Interleon has, of course, a uh, tablet coin or like luck incense. So uh, it is always going to be the switch in that follows. And basically, it is our way of guarantee winning. Uh, and this should be just about fine. So that's a Mr. Rhyme. Cool. Basically, this is the Pokemon that replaces Jinx. That's unfortunate. Of course, it has Protect. 
But yeah, anyway, um, with this way you can um, just go through this league and of course with the Gold Rush you can earn, uh, since there are 4 battles, you earn roughly 400 Poké Dollars, which is almost enough to fully EV evolve or EV a Pokémon fully for, for battling. Uh, I do believe you need 520. So with two rounds of these, and you will be golden for at least, like roughly I should say, going about it, I really feel like I'm messing up here. But basically, since it takes one battle takes roughly around um, five minutes at most, more likely two to four minutes, um, you can in theory have been able to uh, maximize your Pokémon with uh, your EVs um, for twenty minutes. Basically, that's should all all you need, and that's just absolute easiest way of getting a lot of money faster in this game. Um, it will roll pass really fast though, so. Uh, once you see I get the money from the Amulet coin, and then you just see that I picked up the amount of money. So we'll see how much that will be. Right? The man is defeated, Golden Isar. So right, we pick up 1600, 240. So nothing to it, but once I press again, and you picked up 99999. There we go. So roughly 100,000 Poké Dollars in one game. And since the league is always open, there is really nothing to it. You can just keep on going um, and get those things going on. Uh, now, you're always going like, a, now I'm going to face off Leon. And like I said, if you know you face off Leon directly, make sure you switch into something that can knock it out directly. Um, because AG Slash, or rather, it's a normal move in this piggy day with Golden Rush attack. So it's completely immune to that. So I really hope this was helpful. Um, I really wish I discovered this a lot earlier because I think that would have been. It would have not make me waste a lot of battle points on the wrong spot because battle points you can use them to get a lot of really great stuff. So don't waste them on shit like vitamins when you can just get money fast like this. This is absolutely the best way of getting money and the best way of training your Pokemon. So with that said, thank you for watching as always and take care. Bye.